I want to see a rejuvenation, a restoration of people's spirits. I want to see they're more connected and they're empowered and to take control. I want to see sustainability and a growth in a positive way for this community. We cannot ignore the collective scars and trauma that neighborhoods across this city have and have not dealt with. Whether it be from real estate development projects or poverty, pick one. These are things that we don't deal with and we don't discuss. And I think that the challenge from a community development perspective going forward is how do we deal with the collective trauma of our neighborhoods? You have the housing, you have the economic development, you have the education, you have the workforce development, you have all those things that you achieve through Purpose Built and it helps kind of tie those visions together to make a stronger community at the end of the day. How can we build a more equitable future for all? So it's not the haves and the have nots, but those who have been long time and long term owners in our neighborhoods and communities are able to benefit. So like in my perfect sort of utopian scenario, right? Homeowners have real wealth in their homes and they're able to pass them down to their relatives who are able to benefit from those things. People really view our neighborhoods, the east side of Cleveland as a destination and a place to go, a place to live, a place to thrive. And I hope that for all of Cleveland that we really figure out that we are better together. Whatever is built, needs to have a purpose and that purpose needs to be to meet the needs of the community and to make the community better and I think that's exactly what we're trying to do here and I think that's exactly what the residents are trying to do here and with that with the partners we have and the leadership that we have we're going to make this happen. First time black homeowners that have come out of public housing said, okay, babe, we're gonna step out on faith and look at our financial records and let's buy a house. And that's how you start to grow equity in a community. Businesses start to open up, black owned, black operated businesses. Because at the end of the day, you wanna live, work, play, worship in your neighborhood. We can have these things. This is the vision I see for our community. I think the residents kind of felt like, okay, when is it our turn? And so when you look at one of the lines from this day is, it's hashtag Woodhills up next. And a big part of that was the residents saying, okay, it's our turn now, let's rock. And so coming in the door, they came in with skepticism, but they came in and saying, okay, we're gonna make this happen. And it's not gonna be an excuse for us not to get this done. Anything to make a systematic change, whether it's food, whether it's housing, whether whatever it is that you want for yourself in your life, it's got to be purpose built. So I think we all win when little kids can tell anyone and everyone, guess where I'm from? I'm from Cleveland. <laughs>